Hi everyone, hope you all are doing amazing. So today I am going to do what's in my makeup bag uh, video. So in which I am going to show you what products I generally have up on my vanity and uh, makeup for daily purpose. So I have this uh, round basket kind of bag which I got from Faces Canada when I made a purchase of more than 5000 rupees. I don't remember, sometime last year I got this bag and this is very beautiful, very sturdy, it holds its shape and it has a lot of products here and it has a small mirror which you can use when you are traveling but I keep my basic makeup stuff here. So I'm going to show you what all products I use on daily basis or if I ever have to go out what products I keep out. So there are a lot of lipsticks, uh, we all are sure there are a lot of lipsticks. The lipstick I have on is Galactic uh, Demure which is also here so i'm going to pick out products randomly and show the first product here is this glow recipe watermelon pink juice moisturizer this is a very lightweight moisturizer and works really well uh, under your makeup because this is gel based so it doesn't make you sweat or anything it hydrates your skin and looks really fabulous so either this one or uh, suganda white lotus i have always in my bag uh, in the makeup bag so next I have a makeup sponge, I, it comes really handy when I have to apply concealer on brush. I just have to quickly do my makeup, this comes really really handy. So I always have a makeup sponge in my makeup bag. Then for mascara I am trying to finish up the Pixi Large Lash Mascara because I think I opened it somewhere around last year, I think in December. So I think I want to use it as much as I can before I chuck it, uh, before I throw it out. So on days when I am planning to do a nice makeup or I am going out for dinner or um, to meet friends, I use this Kiko 3-in-1 Radiance Primer. So this is what it is, what the name suggests. It's a radiance primer. So you apply it on the skin and your skin glows and it's not glittery or anything so it looks very nice and my skin is dry, it lacks um, glow. So I apply this and it looks really beautiful. Then I have this small kabuki brush from Lottie London. I think this brush is more than two and a half years old. I really love it. This is very beautiful, very nice size, quite big and really good for powder application. And uh, this is the powder I'm using currently. This is Kiko Baked Powder in number four. And as you can see, I've already hit pan. And I think this would have, I mean, I would have already finished it had we not stuck in this lockdown. So. I think I'm going to finish it very soon, probably in the coming month. And uh, I also keep a bronzer here because sometimes when you apply concealer, your eyelids look ashy. And at that time, I use a very little bit of uh, bronzer, like I take it on my fingers and apply it on my eyes. And it just covers the darkness and looks really natural. So I love and I always keep a bronzer here. Then I have these two Maybelline Age Rewind Concealers, as you can see. I am almost done with these. This is caramel and this is medium. Caramel is half a shade darker than my complexion but it works really well on the area around my mouth and I apply this and this both like mix these for my under eye area and I cannot use the medium alone because it is very very light but if I mix these two they look really beautiful together. So I have these out. This caramel is a really good shade for NC44. Uh, would be a really perfect match and for my skin tone this is half a shade darker but it works really well on the pigmented areas and I also have this pack takeover concealer uh, concealer uh, the name has come off but I think this is uh, honey drop because uh, honey drop was my perfect shade so this is my perfect shade when I am not in a mood to mix two shades I, am, I just apply this and get out of the door then I have kept the Milani Conceal and Correct palette here. I uh, sometimes use the orange corrector because sometimes when you are getting ready your face starts looking really ashy especially around this area. So I apply very little bit of the corrector from here and this corrector is not too orange. So concealing it is not an issue. So very good product. Then I have uh, K-Beauty Kajal. I don't use Kajal on my waterline on daily basis but if I want to apply a kajal or apply want to apply kajal on my upper lash line, this comes handy. For my liquid eyeliner, I have this Body Shop Pen Eyeliner and this is really good. It's pretty black and it's not waterproof but 
it works really well on my eyes so i use generally this one but if i'm running late and i don't really want to mess up my eyeliner i use k beauty kajal on my upper lash line then i have this nude sticks brow duo so it is very uh, handy it is a very handy product so on one side it has the eyebrow filler and other side it has the gel so you don't really have to go through too many products to finish your brow look you can just take this one and it's good and the dupe for this would be bolly glows uh, brow uh, there is another brow crayon brow duo or in bolly glow it's very close to this one and then i have uh, the dear La darling tint because on whenever i'm going out i use only this tint either this tint or gogo tint from benetton because these are very easy to use they don't look overdone and they look much natural than your uh, typical powder blush so i really like to use tint on daily basis because it looks really natural it blends really quickly you don't really need too many tools to apply this and i'm sure you might have observed that i generally have products that don't really need separate brushes i use this one to apply my powder and to apply a little bit of bronzer if i want to otherwise i don't really apply bronzer because i don't use foundation on daily basis now we are left only with my lipsticks i have lot of lipsticks i'm going to swatch them one by one while i'm showing them to you first one is this iba halal matte liquid lipstick this is in the shade cute cocoa and this is a very beautiful brown i'm going to swatch them here this is a very beautiful brown this is like a warm toned medium to deeper brown and uh, the formula here is very comfortable i really really like it then i have um, galactic demure this is the one i have on it's again a very beautiful everyday it's a very beautiful everyday pinkish brown so this is more pink and lighter than iba one then i have this one my ysl lipstick it's almost done uh i have only this much left so as you can see i'm almost done with this this is more like a lip balm lip gel and this is again a very beautiful pinky brown very very beautiful very good for every day even if i'm running errands and i don't really want to have a full on lip color i apply this one because this almost looks like a lip balm very beautiful shade then on the days when i really want to have a bold lip color on i use faces canada mulberry this is my favorite color this is uh, mulberry magic and this is like a very beautiful berry toned color this is the color and very toned colors make my complexion look really bright and beautiful so generally i wear very toned shades if i'm not wearing neutrals the next one is this nykaa's ultra matte lipstick in the shade cleopatra this lipstick is my favorite because of uh, the shade the shade is darker than mulberry and this stays on whole day long this is as good as your liquid lipstick but this is not uh this doesn't come off um, very easily it stays on stays put entire day so whenever i'm going for a wedding or i'm going for a function where i'm know that i'm going to eat a lot of stuff i use this one this is very very good uh very highly recommended if you don't mind a little drying texture next up little drying formula the texture is very smooth but it once it's set it doesn't transfer much and it feels a bit dry then i have another very comfortable everyday kind of uh, shade from lakme this is shade elegant pink this is from their 3d collection and this is a pinkish brown very uh, i don't know like this is not very any this is not close to any of the shades i swatched but this is a very beautiful everyday shade and this is a matte color and looks very beautiful for red i have raven from uh, nude sticks and this is kind of a very deep burgundy color and these lipsticks stay on for a really long time so this is very comfortable formula and this stays on for like 8 9 hours and doesn't budge and i can use it on my cheeks as well so this doubles up as a cheek and lip product very good and the lastly i have uh, color bar unspeakable this is the shade i use if i'm just going out probably to my sister or anywhere this is this is how it looks just like a mauve color i really like it this is a mauve color and a matte but can you see the condition of the lipstick it's broken and it's messy but yeah the shade is very nice and then i have a lip balm this is a uh, lit 
pH balanced lip balm from uh, pH lip balm from My Glam. This is a really good one. I personally really like it. So these are the, all the products that I generally keep in my makeup bag. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this video. I don't use foundation. I don't wear foundation on a daily basis. That's why I don't have it in my makeup bag. And uh, if I ever decide to wear foundation, my vanity, my drawer has, my vanity drawer has a foundation. So yeah, that was about it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, do not forget to give it a big thumbs up. If you are watching me for the first time, please subscribe. And I'll see you very soon in my next video. Till then, bye.